Hey guys, I'm back again. Um, today I am going to make one of my younger son, Michael, he's almost 16, I'm making one of his favorite things which is, um, it's not really a homemade ice cream but it's a homemade cookies and cream type of thing. I use two half gallons of vanilla ice cream and then I use a whole thing of Oreos or sandwich cookies whatever you want. Um, I will put the Oreos in a Ziploc bag and then I just beat the living crud out of them as such. Now usually I will use um, a rolling pin or my meat cleaver, but as I said in the last video, I never know where any of my utensils are because nothing is ever put in the same place twice. So, I'm using the back of one of my spoons, you know. In the kitchen, really, you don't have to have all those fancy tools, you just make do with what you have. And that's basically what I do in my simple kitchen. I make do with what I have. Now, my mixer is not big enough to handle both of my cartons of ice cream. So I generally just do half of my cookies and half of my ice cream at a time. So... I have one of my ha my handy dandy KitchenAid mixer, which I got for my very first Mother's Day when my <coughs> oldest son Jonathan was born. Now my ice cream has been softening for a couple of hours now, probably. We live in Southeast Louisiana, and I'm always looking for easy, simple recipes that are quick and something that will just help and make the days easier because it gets just so hot, just blazing hot here. So anyway, so I put one of my half gallons in my mixer and I'm going to put about half of them cookies, crushed cookies in here and I will attach my little thing. It doesn't really matter which which one you use. And start off low and mix it until it's fairly well mixed. Well, my internet went off while I was recording the second part to this, so you won't get to see me filling my the cups with the ice cream, so I'm sorry, but what I did was when I finished um, mixing up my ice cream and my cookies, I took five ounce Dixie cups and crack sticks, just little popsicle sticks from the craft store or from the craft section of your local um, supermarket, like um, a Target or a Walmart or whatever's near whatever's near you. Um, I'm in a small town, so really all we have is a, a Walmart. Um, and I filled the cups. Can you see my little cups? I filled my little cups with the ice cream. And, and then I put my little sticks inside. And I put them on a cookie sheet. And I will put them in my outside freezer. And Michael and his friends will know that these are outside and ready to beat the heat whenever they need them. And to my nephew Benjamin, they did not go on top of my chicken last night. Michael and his friends will eat them. So anyway, y'all have a good rest of the day and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.